happening with AB1 goalkeepers around Europe this weekend. AB1 we have um, a clash which was between uh, Malmo FF and AIK Stockholm. Um, it's been one of the most important days in the in the league there in Sweden. And it was massive for the AB1 GK family. It was a very special occasion as both goalkeepers wore AB1 GK gloves. A new signing for AB1 GK, Marco Jansevin. He wore AB1 GK and also Budimir Jankovic, who's been wearing AB1 for a while now, um, for Stockholm. Awesome match, but it ended in the perfect result for the two goalkeepers. A goalless draw. Um, for and AIK were uh, were down to nine men, but Budimir saved uh, saved some really good efforts during during the game, and he deserved a man of the match award at the end of the game. So congratulations to Budimir. It was a um, a really uh, a really good performance by him, and we hope that he 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 keeps that number one spot for the remainder of the season. Ryan Fulton in Scotland uh, did concede one goal, unfortunately at Livingston. His Hamilton side won 2 1. It was their second win of the season. Wickham Wanderers, they made their championship debut this weekend. And it was a it was a big game for them. They hosted Rotherham United and Ryan Alsop, who is just signed with AB1 GK, played the full 90 minutes in their 1-0 defeat. Chris Maxwell, Captain Blackpool, at Plymouth Argyle goal this weekend at Home Park where the hosts. One with an early goal. In ladies football, uh, Shannon Lynn, our very own Shannon Lynn, who wears the AB1 Impact Uno surround cut gloves. She had a very, very good game and her side won 2 1. Let's go GIK is the team she plays for. So um, congratulations to her. They've been on an incredible run of games. So that was an awesome result for her. Bosnian League was back in action this weekend with uh, many goalkeepers wearing uh, AB1 GK gloves. Um, Bojang and Pavlovic, um, they uh, lost at the weekend to uh, Sarajevo 3-2. Um, got some questions now. Let's go on to the questions. We've got a little bit of a roundup of what's been going on. Apologies for any pr pronunciation with, uh, with some, of the, uh, some of the names of some of the goalkeepers. Um, let's talk about the questions I've had. That's what the most important part of the show is. Product questions, and I've also got some questions about delivery as well. Got two questions that have been sent in, to, in about delivery. Um, one for uh, European, um, a, a gentleman in Bosnia. Imar has asked me how long does it take for shipping from AB1 GK to, um, to Bosnia? And it's pretty simple really, it's 10 to 15 days. Really quick to get out of the UK, but it's a little bit slow once in Bosnia. So we do find that delivery in Bosnia is a little slow. Um, I've also been asked uh, for a U. I've been asked this by a couple of people over the last couple of weeks. So I touch on it. UK shipping provider. It's either Royal Mail or DPD. The DPD option is now on the AB1 website. So if you are looking specifically for DPD, 99% of their parcels are a next day delivery as well. So if you're taking that option Monday to Friday, that is a next day delivery. Um, I've had this question asked by quite a few people again over the last few weeks, but it's a, it's a general question. Do any of the Indici gloves feature finger save stroke finger protection? No, they don't. There's nothing within the Indici collection that does have finger save, I'm afraid, but the Uno range does, it has two models that are finger protection. I've pulled them out for you. They are, I've featured it before. Um, they're very limited both on stock at the moment. This is the Impact Uno Finger Protect Negative Cut Pro. This features a negative cut and fixed finger protection. So the spines are non-removable. There's no thumb spine in this one. It's a negative cut. But the only downside is at the minute there's limited availability on that one. I'm not sure if that's going to be continued. That is to be confirmed. Give us a thumbs up if you want to see the negative finger protect stay within the collection. We like to hear your feedback as always. The other glove that features finger protection is the another glove, as I said, from Uno, which is the Finger Protect NB. It's a roll finger glove. And this one does have 
removable finger protection via the backhand there. There's no thumb protection, it's just finger protection, roll finger, and it's got a uh, an all weather foam. It's a 3.5 millimeter foam, but it's for all weather conditions. So it's a really, really nice glove. I can't give a sizing uh, view on it because they're a size nine, we don't have any eights, and um, the size seven is gonna to be too small for me. So I will, once this comes back into stock, which it is coming back into stock within the coming weeks, I believe, stay tuned and I will do a full product reveal of these finger protection gloves. Right, question wise, um, I had a, uh, I had another one come in. It was, what's the future of AB1GK? That's a good question. It's gonna to continue to develop and there will be some exciting product coming. Um, there's more and more professional goalkeepers wearing this brand. So more of these professional goalkeepers become a part of this brand, you will see loads of different new ideas and products because the brand are continually listening to um, to the professionals and also you guys that tune into my show each and every week. That can that covers all the questions that I've had sent in. So there's an opportunity now to to pop any questions across to me and I will go live with those in a short while. But before I do so, I'm gonna bring you um, a product that I promised that I was gonna show you last week, which was people would ask, um, they'd seen pictures of Asmir training with the national team and he was wearing a full length goalkeeper padded pant, which is Academia uh, full length padded pant these. And this is the uh, base layer garment that Asmir was wearing in that photo. This is a small version of it. So you got the embossed padding on it. It's, it's very, very high protection these. It's across the right across the hips there, across the knee area as well. AB1 branding on the base there. And you've also got a really nice thick waistband. So these are awesome because of that waistband. It does definitely give that extra bit of stability a bit around the waist. I'm gonna give you the price shortly, which I'm just gonna grab. The finishing touches to it are really nice. It's just wrapped over at the base there and it's just literally finished off of a stitch, so it's wrapped inside, and you've got the AB1 branding, which is on the base there as well, powered by goalkeepers, and uh, it's an awesome pant. It's been really, really popular. It's gone down really, really well. I'm gonna give you the price on it because there's adults and juniors available. Thank you for, to my cameraman for passing me over the, uh, the prices. So I like to give prices as we go along on the product. This long pant is 45 pounds for adults, and it's 20% less for juniors because you don't pay the BAT on that. But it's a really nice padded base layer garment, these. Awesome. Also available in a three quarter length pant as well, which has been more popular than the long pant, if I'm honest. So, but there you go. That's what Asmir was wearing. I said I promised to bring it on the show and I've done that. Right, I spoke about a brand new product, which is a full reveal. It's not on sale yet but it will be shortly. It's gonna go onto the AB1GK website this evening. Temperatures are yet to plummet, but I'm sure they will. They may be in your part of the world, who knows? Where I am in England, it's pretty warm at the moment. This is the brand new AB1 powered by goalkeepers winter beanie. Absolutely stunning product this. Really nice detail, powered by goalkeepers is stitched in. You've also got AB1 in embroidered logo, and you've got the little bomb bomb on the top there, which is awesome. It's a really, really nice product. It's great for training days, on a way to a match on a cold winter's day. What more could you ask for? So that is the brand new winter beanie from AB1 GK. So that touches on a brand new product. It will be on sale later this evening, so stay tuned for that and the pricing on that one is £16.99 so check it out hit the accessories on the website and you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to see it I'm gonna uh, have a quick look now and see if there's any live questions and, and see what you guys have to say um, I'd like to uh, get you guys involved as we go 
Um, Azmir Begovic, best Bosnian goalkeeper. Thank you very much. He will appreciate that. Um, so thank you for your kind comments on Azmir. Azmir, um, I know that he really enjoyed playing for his country last week, and it means the absolute world to him when he, when he represents his country. Um, hi, Martin. How are you? I played a game in the semi-final of the Cup and won wearing the Hex Retro. They were amazing, and I cannot wait for the final. Congratulations on making the final, Joseph. That's fantastic news. Um, I hope you win the final. Get, get us some pictures across of that final. Let's have some AB1 gloves on the uh, on the trophy, eh? So, um, well done, mate. That's great to hear. Um, Asmir has uh, joined us as well. Make sure you join our Fantasy League, our Fantasy Premier League. Make sure you join into that. I will drop a comments box in the in the comments at the end um, and you guys can join it. So join in. Um, Asmir is a part of that as well. I will make sure that I enter a team as well. My cameraman, Gavin, I would definitely drag him into this as well. Uh, anything else we got coming in questions? Uh, Marcus has joined us. Hi, Marcus. I use the Nero people. Such a great grip and fit. Strong and strong feel. Thank you very much. That's great to hear. Um, some really nice comments coming in here. Um, brilliant. Um, loads of nice comments. So thank you very much indeed for all of you joining us. I've had a few questions come in and it was a showcase I did a couple of weeks ago and we spoke about the Hex Retro and I have to make a confession that when I did the did the um, preview I was slightly out on the glove size and I've come back and I accidentally picked up a size 9 and they fitted me quite well to be fair so I've actually pulled a size 8 out of the bag now and they I want to give a proper lowdown on the glove because a lot of people ask what's the material like on the backhand is it really thin? Is it thick? There's always people asking about Hex Retro. It's probably the best seller at the moment from this collection of Indici gloves. It's got an awesome stretch strap to it, which is a really nice feature. But we are constantly asked about the size on it. How does it compare to other models? And it's on par with everything from AB1 GK. The only glove that fits different in any of the any of the range is the Galactico, which is slightly bigger for size. The backhand, the question is I'm asked a lot of, is it thin? It's not. And the guys that are watching will, will back me up on that. It's not as thin as it looks. It's quite a, a thick neoprene. It's got a slight padding on it as well. And it's hard to, I can almost show it to you. It's almost like a fleece backhand, but I imagine it to be awesome in, in colder conditions. It's quite, quite a tight entry into it, so it's a little fiddly to get on. But I'm gonna put my hands in it. And I'm gonna give you a proper lowdown on the fit because it is really snug. Negative cuts are snug. And because of the backhand material, it makes it snugger. Amazing glove, Martin, is right. Thank you, it's nice to hear. Nice pull loop to put them on. You've got your wrap over thumb, which is really nice with a negative bottom inseam, so it's given a really tight fit. Stretch strap, locks on, and they're snug. But if you want a negative cut glove with hand to ball contact, this is the sort of glove you want. Um, I had a goalkeeper with me at the weekend, um, locally, and he bought two pairs of gloves. He went for one of the Nero's, and he went for these, and he's someone who uses in training, because they fit similar, but he felt the Nero was a bit more bulkier and was going to give him that little bit more protection. But he said, these are brilliant for training in. I think they're great for training and match play. And that backhand is just striking. You know, the, the material used is, is lightweight. It's not heavy. And it's got really nice silicon placed across the top of it as well. Negative cut with the, with the gussets as well, with the mesh gussets. It makes for a really tight fit. And... The hand to ball contact, believe me, is really, really good. So fit wise on it, really nice. Wrap over thumb on it, inseam down there as well. Finishes it off really nicely. Just gonna be careful removing these gloves because they wrap. They are certainly tight. But the packaging that the gloves come in as well is really nice because it's a nice reusable bag, really. You manage, you say you've used your gloves, you've got your tags off. But Brilliant to go back in there after a match. Now, they can go back in there after a match. You can zip them up. 
and this packaging will last you and there you go you can put them back in there ready for the next use so the, the package is nice breathe it breathe the ball as well it's well made so it's almost like a glove bag with your gloves it's awesome right i've had some other questions so oh, it's coming over the, over youtube really um, make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel if you haven't done so already the show's replayed there each week as well that will be live tomorrow morning we've been talking about finger and wrist tape which is always us mate you're going to stock it you're going to have any other colors the good news is we've got the standard black and white at the moment and there will be more colors arriving within the coming days so stay tuned we're going to have more colors available including orange to match your impact uno icon gloves so we've got orange coming and people talk about What's the best way to tape fingers? I'll do an in-depth video for YouTube at some, at some stage, like a proper how-to video. But for, the, uh, for the, the guys that keep asking me, what a lot of goalkeepers do is cut thin strips. So you get your roller tape, make thin strips. And these thin strips, they're only like a centimetre wide, nice and not particularly long. They're probably the length of my hand. And they're perfect for just taping up your fingers. This is what the pros do. It's non-adhesive, so it's got no sticky backing, so you can put it on and move it, and it doesn't leave a sticky film on your fingers, which is good. It's quite strong, and it almost acts as, gives you flexibility, but it acts as almost like protection without being uh, way too much. I just use this, and just any weak spots you have, where you want to protect your fingers, like those little important joints, just on the end of the finger there, where you just, sometimes you just want that extra bit of stability, this tape does it. See what I've done just with those little strips? Really cool. It's a cool idea. I know the pros do it. And that's how they do it. Because everyone keeps asking, how do the pros tape their fingers? Well, that is how they're doing it. They're just picking up those key joints, those areas that just need that extra bit of protection, that little finger. Might just want a little bit there just to give an extra bit of protection. And when you put your gloves on, because that's so... It just sticks to itself. It's really, really nice. When you put a pair of gloves on, it doesn't move. Look, I'm gonna put a pair of gloves on now, and it doesn't move. That is the beauty of it, that it just sticks on. See what I've done there? And what we'll do is we'll quickly slide a pair of gloves on. These ones are a little bit big anyway, but it's no major issue. Orange, to match the orange. I've got my fingers in those. They're quite tight, actually, to be fair, for a nine. And um, yeah. It's not moved. I can still feel them where they are. Slightly going to move them off. As you can see, they've not come off. So extra colours coming in the coming days on the AB1GK website. So keep your, keep your eyes peeled for that. I think that covers everything product-wise for this week. I've answered as many questions as I've had come in. I've answered every question that I've had emailed to me this week. Um, just going to pick up on the live bits here as well. Um, are the reusable finger tape secure as normal tape? Yeah, I think they are, to be fair. I prefer it because it's not sticky. And the sticky, like the joint mapping tape, some of it can be really thick. And that doesn't give the flexibility that this does. You won't want to reuse this. Once you've done this, once you've, once you've used this, you might want to change it to, you know, you, half time you might flick it around and move them around. But once you finish your game, you're just going to bin it. You get a massive roll as well, so you get a, a, a fairly large amount of tape as well and you can just be chopping it up but it's better than than just wrapping the whole thing around your finger it's just way too much it's good for your wrist if you want to get some wrist support there are a few videos online on youtube which you can you can see different uh, different channels showing off how to how to tape up um fingers there's a few medics out there that they're specializing or physios uh, football clubs that do show it off so have a look out for those Next week's show, I am hoping to bring on a AB1 in Dorsey. I'm yet to confirm who that's going to be, but I'm in the process of speaking to a few goalkeepers. I am, for the women that join us, the girls that join us, I'm going to invite invite um, professional ladies goalkeeper on Shannon Lynn at some stage, and I'm going to be speaking to the in Dorseys in the coming days and look to bring some of those onto the show. Thank you all for joining me today. Um, one question I've just seen out the corner of my eye on my on my uh, computer here. Where can I buy a glove? There's loads of options to buy AB1 gloves. 
You can go direct onto the AB1GK website. You can buy direct, but you can also go at selected retail partners. There, um, there's a stocky section on the website, which is in the in the bottom banner. It will take you to to stock it. So stock it on the high street, but you will also find people that are selling the product worldwide. So hopefully that will help you uh, find a, a supplier of of AB1 gloves. They're popping up everywhere now, so loads of places you can buy AB1 GK gloves. The brand direct are selling um, across the world. So for the UK base, we have worldwide shipping available. All the delivery times are on the website. Also worth noting, uh, justkeepers.com also sell AB1 GK as well as great-save.com, both online uh, retailers that are selling the product and there's a whole host of other people on the retail page. Hope that is uh, 